Hello and welcome. Welcome to my home and welcome to my sacred space that I prepared for you here today. Hello friends, hello family, anybody who has stumbled upon my and my reading here, welcome, welcome. This is for you. Um, this is a timeless reading, meaning that whatever time you find it is to the time to use it. So I'm Olivia and this is Tarot and Coffee with Olivia here to do your daily pick a card. I really appreciate each and every one of you and I really want you to know that. So this is how this works. I have these card toppers here. I can probably zoom in, but I will. I, I'm going to go ahead and pick them up and show them to you up close as well. So let's go ahead and zoom out and I'll introduce you to the card toppers because this is how you're going to pick your car today. <clears throat> so we have the glass fish bead, redfish. We have the blue cat eye. We have the green heart. Wasn't there a knight called Greenheart? And we have the turtle. And I'm going to have a sip of coffee. I hope you guys, I hope this video finds you doing well. Feeling good about life. And let's see if I can uh, give you some, I don't know, a little peek ahead. A little intuition, little intuition reading. I am going to do a card of the day for my Kim Kranz Wild Unknown Archetype deck. <clears throat> uh, one of my favorite artists, um, especially, uh, and, and she does uh, more than one uh, tarot deck, and I will leave her information in the description of this video. And I am shuffling so that you can see the different kinds of examples of artwork she might have. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut the deck. I will draw from the top since I just saw the bottom. And today, the vision. Today is all about the vision. We are gonna read from our Kim Cran's Wild Unknown Archetype book to talk about the vision. I'm also going to put timestamps so that you can skip ahead to your card that you picked. So for you yourself today. Now, people do this all different ways. Some people pick all the cards, but since I don't have a way to, uh, <clears throat> I don't connect them together like I would do in a reading, uh, in a personal reading. So it is a little bit different to do it this way, and it doesn't have as much information. Um, but anyway, let's go ahead and, whoops, what did I do with my Kim Cran's Wild Unknown Archetypes book? If I don't find it right away, I'm going to have to start this video over. It looks like it's right here. <laughs> okay. So what do we have? The vision. Let me look that up real quick. In my table of contents of my Kim Cran's Wild Unknown Archetype book. And we want, not the places, not the... Uh, is probably the initiations would be the vision, I think. No? Uh, there it is. 175. The vision. I'm going to go ahead and read to you. And now is a good time for you to go ahead and study those car toppers. So I will go ahead and try to zoom up on them a little bit. You can't even see the redfish, can you, here? I need a little more light in here. It's an overcast day. And that is one of the next things in my budget is some better light. Okay, can y'all see that okay? Well, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and start reading. The vision, the dream, the imagined, the revealed. It is said that we are each born with a unique vision, a destiny toward which we are aimed. It is also said that we forget this vision the moment we are born. Thus, we are sent on a lifelong journey of rediscovery, such as the elusive nature of the vision. It slips away, yet it guides <clears throat> and appears in strange dreams and surreal images, seemingly unattainable and preposterous. 
When we are connected to the vision, we carry an inspired, enchanted aliveness that others recognize. We trust the world and its synchronicities. We walk through the new doors into wondrous opportunities. We all want to be near those with vision. They emit energy more potent than any elixir. When we lose connection to the vision, life becomes dull and exhausting, lacking in meaning. Bring back the mystery. Bring back the dreams. When light, potent, imagination, synchronicity, and trust. When dark, disconnected from art and dreams. Aimless, listless. Well, that's kind of heartbreaking. <clears throat> the dark part of the vision. The light part of the vision, you know, we talked a little bit about this before. Um, basically, I do believe we all do have a calling or a something to do on this earth. And I believe that we um, decide this in advance. I don't think it's something that's just put upon us. I think it's something that we have agreed to do. Um, I feel like I've been searching for my career, my place, my vision, my my calling all my life. And I feel like I've had more than one calling. I feel lucky enough to be someone who has had many great um, experiences and callings. Uh, for instance, I did, um, I was a midwife for a couple of years and that was a home birth mid midwife. And I do feel like that that was a definite calling, definite spiritual calling. I definitely learned a lot. I have a little sip of coffee. Um, and as for you, here's the thing. Some people can search all their lives and not find their, their vision or their calling. And yet they're still already doing it. So if you're feeling like you're having trouble and you don't know and you're feeling listless, what were the words that you're feeling? <laughs> Well, anyway, let's move forward with your card reading because I have a feeling that we're going to be able to uh, look more on the vision as we look on, at our cards. So if you picked the red fish, I'm going to go ahead and pick up your card right now and we'll talk about it. All right, so this, let me get a good focus on it. Okay, so this is the Knight of Swords. And the thing about this person is they are in movement. Do you see? They are a person of their word, which means whatever they say, they take action and do. And as the Knight of Swords, um, that action is something that balances things out. Um, if you have been sitting on a decision, now's the day to take action. If you have been feeling like you need to do something about a certain situation, now's the time to move forward and do, it, and do that, to actually take the action. And what I mean by that is today or within the next few days, um, this is a timeless reading, and I do them daily. So, Oftentimes, this is your big window of opportunity is when you find this, the day that you find this. Um, as far as the vision is concerned, I do believe that whatever this, this goal is, whatever this thing that you've been meaning to do that you're going to do today has a lot to do with your spiritual calling, which is just another way I'll say the vision. So that's pretty pretty great card to have today, I feel. Let's go ahead and move on. Let's see what we have under the blue cat eye. Let's see what we have here. Oh, and this is quite a lovely card. As you can see, one of the things I think of when I see this card is I think of, I don't know if any of y'all ever read the book about the Snow Queen. And there were these two little children that were the best of friends and they played in the snow. Um, when, in indoors and when it was warm they would go out on the roof and they had a little roof garden anyway it's a beautiful story and it's a lot about well it's about a lot of things it's a big old fairy tale and it's pretty dark towards the end there um however let's talk about the card and what this means for you today sorry i did get off on a tangent um 
But what this means for you today, it's a nostalgic card. It's also a sweet friendship and innocent card. Um, you may be spending time in the past today uh, in order to uh, clarify your future. That happens. Um, sometimes this is a card. Now, because I don't have any clarifiers, I have to... And, and it's a general reading. I will think of, sometimes I'll think of a few different meanings the card may have, depending on who you might be or what card might have been, uh, yeah, next to it in a personal reading. So one of the things I would say today is, is to be careful of living in the past too much and dream and, and dreaming rather than moving forward. Oftentimes when I see this card, I feel like um, a connection with an old friend is in order. And as far as the vision is concerned, well, anything and everything we do points us towards our calling, doesn't it? Or away from one or the other. And I do feel like if you are reconnecting with a friend or thinking about your past in order to move through your future, then this is moving you toward your vision. Because dreams are a very, dreams and daydreams, they're very important parts of our higher calling and our spiritual self. Now we're going to look at the green heart. What is under the green heart? Oh, the Nine of Swords. It looks pretty dark. Um, you may be a person that's in great despair right now. There may be a reason for that. There usually is. It's not something that just comes over us. Um, because this is, a, this is a little more than depression. This has more uh, to do about nightmares, night terrors, staying up at night, not being able to sleep, worrying, anxiety. So if this is your card today, I'd just like to validate that you are in a very difficult place. Now, that's the first thing I want to say to you. The second thing I want to say to you is this is a place that you will be moving out of. You will move through this. And you may have to take action in order to do so. In fact, there may be things going on around you that you're not seeing because you're so caught up in your anxiety and worry and fear. Breathe deeply. <sighs> I find that sighing on, on uh, exhale sometimes really releases a lot of stress. Exhale releases stress for me. Um, yeah, I'd like you to, to talk to a friend or, or even a therapist and take a look around and try to, find, try to find a peaceful place where you can sit and feel safe and let the anxiety subside a little bit so that you can see your way out of this prison. Because you can get out. That's part of the message of this card is that you are able to move out of this dark space. And there's lots of reasons why you could be in that dark space. And the thing is, is with your, with your calling and with your dark space, a lot of times we do have to go through some terrible things in order to be able to serve and relate to our fellow human beings. But you don't have to sit and suffer forever. You can make it out of this situation. And that's the message of that card. Um, oftentimes when I use this deck, I do get some much more, I guess, serious, serious readings. Um, uh, that's why sometimes I pull out my cat deck and I use my cat deck because... Sometimes, it, and then my cat deck will get serious. If it's a serious day and you need to hear serious things, that's what's going to happen no matter what deck I use. Anyway, let's go ahead and move on and see what we have under the turtle. The Five of Swords. The Five of Swords. So, 
this is I'm kind of I've kind of lost my whole I'm gonna have to get it you know what I'm gonna look at my notes the five of swords is a card that I know and understand however I've gone blank a blank so I'm gonna look at my guide to the tarot and go directly to the five of swords okay so Oh, yes. Okay. So this is a card where I want you to go throughout your day to day and I don't want you to take things at face value. So this is almost a card like there is some kind of deception possibly going on. Um, things, maybe not deception, but things are not as they seem. So go ahead and take time to look behind the scenes if you can. Um, if you, if this some, has something to do with work, it may mean that there's some changes going on that you'll find out about soon. If it's something to do with your love life, that you might find that there's someone that's attracted to you that hasn't actually said anything yet and you haven't noticed or something along those lines. But the main message of this card, since we don't have other cards to clarify, the main message of this card is to pay attention to what's going on around you. Be very aware and do not take things at face value. Not even this card. Mm -hmm. um, we're not going to really connect that to the vision. I feel like uh, I feel like if you listen to the um, intro, and especially if you listen to any of the other cards, you have a lot about the vision. And one of the things we did say about the vision is that it, it can also be considered like remembering your, your calling. And everybody has one. And probably a lot of people are already doing it, whether they know it or not. I'm doing it, doing their life calling. <laughs> and, you know, we've come to the end of the video. <sighs> I hope you found it to be just what you needed. Hmm. Please do what take take what resonates with you and leave the rest. It is a general reading. Don't make life altering decisions or changes based on any pick a card, not even this one. Um, do connect with me on my other social media platforms. Do go see what Kim Cran's artwork looks like if you're interested. Like I said, I will link all that information in the description of this video. All I can say now is Love you. See you guys another time and TTFN. Ta-ta for now.